get a close up and he's. Yeah. He's moving. He's struggling. Did you want to stand at the front wall, stand at the back, hold me in? There we go. Huh, it'll sit down in the rack right around me. <laughs> the death grip. Just let me know. No, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so that's it? Yes, yeah, that's it. Okay, the bridge for it, yeah. The zone, I've said too much. Just let me get out before you get to the head. Yes, darling. Can I? If you can stay, if you can stay tucked in the corner there, it'd be great, just for a moment. I'm just trying to get some close ups of the, the lump in his belly and so on. Kids trying to wrap me around. That's all right. Trying to get that big lump in his That's belly. That's right, I'm going to go right in the shoulder. Right. Shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my name is Stuart Douglas and uh, I work at the Australian Venom Zoo and well, we have a large uh, scrub python, uh, Amistine python. Uh, basically it was removed uh, under a circumstance that uh, a dog it had eaten and it's about five metres long. Uh, the scrub python sometimes grows to about 20 something feet which is the largest uh, python in Australia. Uh, pretty amazing python, we don't get to see many of them anymore, uh, but this one here will actually be removed into a, a national park. The reason why we remove it into a national park basically is to make sure that it has a, a full life and grows to its full size. Um, also with roads around, uh, a lot of these large snakes are actually disappearing from the, from the wild. We uh, caught the snake in Coranda. It's a property that we've been to call to a number of like, well, number of times. And uh, basically, uh, this snake uh, ate uh, the guinea pigs, and then it ate the dog. Uh, well, ate the cat first, sorry, and then ate the dog. But before it ate the dog, it actually stalked it uh, uh, for a number of days. And then uh, on about the fourth day of stalking, it actually managed to acquire the dog. Uh, it took about uh, 45 minutes to half an hour to uh, the snake to actually eat the dog. We were very concerned when we moved it uh, whether it would do damage to the snake. But uh, now uh, it will be removed into a national park. Uh, basically as soon as it digests the, the dog uh, um, and uh, put it back into a place where, where it belongs. It might grow to about 20, 24 feet, 25 feet, depending on who you talk to. The animal at the moment uh, is stored downstairs in the zoo. Uh, it's not on public display. Uh, the reason is, is because it's a wild snake. Uh, we try and look after it. We removed back in 